All right, another episode of the Writer's Block on location today at Moody High School. Uh, sitting here with quarterback Charlie Johnston. Charlie, appreciate you doing this. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Uh, how have how have things been going for you all in recent weeks? Yes, sir. So um, it's been the season been a lot of fun so far. We've been improving every week. Um, we've just been going day by day, week by week. Want to know every week. Um, that's just what we say and. Um, it's been really cool to see the improvement throughout our team and how we've been able to grow. Yeah. And um, in recent games, it's it's really been all coming together. And um, I've just enjoyed watching us grow as a team. And um, practice has been going well this week, and we're ready for um, center point coming up. And we're just going to keep preparing and um, doing everything we can leading up to that game. So I want to go back for a minute. What was that game like at Helena? Like that? That's an interesting place to play, and uh, just that atmosphere there is a bit different to me. Um, what what was that like being in a kind of a dog fight that night? Yes, sir. So that was a very memorable game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I just remember looking over and seeing that hill. It, it's a really cool spot. Yeah. Uh, it was a beautiful sunset, and um, they had their student section packed all the way to the top. Uh, very loud, but. Like I said, it was a lot of fun, and I mean, you when you when you start playing, you don't really hear it. Yeah. Uh, but you know, when you're staying on the sideline and you finally see it, um, yeah. it, it was pretty cool to see. And um, I'm just proud of how we played that game and how um, the whole team did. And um, just I'm proud of that, proud of our defense for getting that stop yeah. at the end, and yeah. um, offense making plays and doing what we can. And it was, it was a lot of fun. So definitely gonna remember that one. But yeah, what is uh what what is community support been like? Uh, I mean, really throughout your career, but especially so far this year, what what's it been like day to day in the community? Yeah, so having the community behind your back is something that's really special, and um, it, it really is a privilege to have and have people watching you. It's it's something that's really nice, and um, knowing that we have the community behind our back is really encouraging, and it pushes our team to keep going and. You know, we want to we want to pay our community back for everything they've given us. Yeah. So um, it just it just helps us to keep going and help us to uh, keep our heads on straight and just and just <laughs> practice the best of our ability. So yeah. I know y'all aren't done yet. Obviously, we're we're right in the middle. We're we're right in the thick of it right now. But back to back ten win seasons. You know, y'all got everything you want ahead of you now. But you know, knowing some of the history, you know, me and Coach Gaines have talked about it in the past, but. You know, Moody over the years hasn't been the most successful program ever. What's it mean to y'all to be kind of that group that's really taking it to that next level? Yes, yeah, it's, it's special. It's 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 something that's really fun. And when you can come in and um, turn a program around and be able to win those games, it's uh it's something that is special. And um, it, it has been a lot of fun to to see us grow as a team and continue to get better each season. Um, so, you know, this season we want to go do it, win the blue map. Um, but after, you know, the previous seasons, we've learned a lot and, and I've, I've enjoyed that process of learning and, and just coming back and working harder each and every week. And, um, you know, we just got to keep getting better and, um, but yeah, it, it's just, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. Did you grow up coming to Moody Games, or, or where, where'd you kind of grow up at? So I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi originally. Oh, okay. Uh, so I did. I went there. Um, I, so I lived there until sixth grade, and we ended up moving to Mount Brook, my brother and I, and uh, the rest of our family. We moved to Mount Brook, and I was there till 10th grade, and then yeah. I moved over here um, after Cole McCarty left. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've loved it here. It's been, it's been phenomenal and I love the community and I love this place. It's uh it's been really cool to play here and uh, my junior and senior year and just get to know the people in this community and yeah. um, build friendships and relationships. And uh, there are great people out here and I love it. So yeah, I lived here before I moved back to trustful. I lived here for four or five years, something like that. What, you know, outside of campus, What's what, what's the go to spot in Moody? What what do you what do you like to do around town? Yeah, so my family and I we we go to Carpinetti's a good bit. Of course, love Carpinetti's S- staple. Yes, it is a staple. <laughs> um, it is so good. Yeah. So when we first tried that, 
uh, we fell in love with it, and we, I mean, we pick it up, we go there, and <laughs> my dad absolutely loves it, so um, he likes to go a good bit, and we go with them, and I love their pizza, and um, I mean, besides that, there's other great restaurants. I mean, we go to El Patron down you know? the road, um, favorite Mexican spot. Okay, I know it's maybe a controversial statement with how many we have, but <laughs> we we love that one so. Um, we, we go there a good bit and they know us pretty well. We're like regulars there. So, yeah. um, but just, I just go out and eat with my family a good bit at those restaurants and, um, and then, yeah. Yeah. So. I, I grew, well, not grew up when we lived here. I, I would always come over to the park and like play pick up basketball over there at yeah. the park and all that, because I had a basketball goal at home, but sometimes it's cool just to go somewhere else, find some people to play with. Can't really yeah. do that in Trustful anymore. There's no, there's no public basketball goals yeah. out and about. So that that was always my favorite part around here was was that, and then certainly the some of those food places for for sure. Yes, sir. Um, I don't want to ask you to look past, but you know, Leeds is always in the mind at at Moody. Um. It, it's been really close the last couple of years. Y'all get them coming to your place here, uh, coming coming up soon. How do, how do y'all kind of approach a rivalry game like that? That not just a rivalry, but means so much for playoff purposes and that kind of thing. Yeah, we. Just, I mean, biggest thing is just keeping the main thing the main thing, and just yeah. going one and zero every week. Never want to make a game too big and make yeah. make it seem like it's bigger than it is. You know, it's it's just another matchup for us, and we need to treat it like that and um just you know not making it too big that's one of the biggest yeah. things so just um we got to know going to the practice that week um that we just got to go one and oh and do what we do best and not get outside of that don't don't try yeah. to do anything you know that would make you a hero don't try to be a hero just mm. do what you do best and um, yeah. so we just got to keep that in mind and and one and know every week so do you know Connor over there pretty well? I do. So I uh, we we've trained a couple of times. And, okay. Um, he he goes to QB Country, Ben Neal. Um, yeah. And so when in the off season when we train, um, I train with him a couple of times. So I know him and um, Gavin Bolin. We've been yeah. on a couple of visits together. So. Yeah. What so. makes what makes that like you know being being a guy that that came over here later? What what to you makes that? such a rivalry besides the obvious the besides the bridge besides that your neighboring towns like what during that week have you seen the last couple of years we were like okay this is maybe for the community communities at least this is a a different level of intensity um maybe just the students reactions i mean how everyone's <laughs> friends everyone knows each other between here and there and it's it's yeah. there's a lot of talk in school usually when that week comes up <laughs> but um I mean, and I learned that last year. It, it is like I didn't realize um, until last year when I used to hear everyone in the school talking about it. But you just gotta block it out, you know. It's, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty funny though. I mean, everyone knows each other, so they talk a lot. Right. Everything goes between on Snapchat. You, <laughs> it's just funny. you got to be careful there, but yes. yeah, yeah, that's fun. That's hey, that's that's what high school sports are all it about. Is. It makes it, it so much fun. I'm glad y'all still got that game for sure. All right, I, I'm going to end with some some quick questions for you. Last song you listened to? Oh, oh, um, the dip. It's the dip. You know the um, it's I'm a recent song. I'm gonna be too old for this. <laughs> Who's it by? <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna see it, but <laughs> <laughs> this just did. I don't know who it's by. Um, oh, who? Is, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Uh, last purchase you made? Last purchase. Ooh. Um, it was a sweatshirt. It was a Nike sweatshirt. Okay. Favorite NFL team? Favorite NFL team? Chargers. Why? Justin Herbert. I just love Justin Herbert. Okay. He, okay. He's similar to me, and um. I mean, I enjoy watching him. So. Yeah. Is he back healthy? Is he all right? I think he is. I think okay. he's better now. Okay. I like that pick. I like that pick. He'll probably do pretty well under I don't, ball. I don't really keep up with the NFL too much. I, I love I just watch college. The player, yeah. Yes, but I I mean I didn't watch Chargers this week, but yeah. Um I mean whatever is usually on. I just watch NFL. I gotcha. So. Funniest player on your team. Funniest player. Dave Smith. Okay. Davian Smith. 
What position is he? He's D line. Okay. <laughs> he's a D lineman, <laughs> but he's hilarious. He's, okay. He's, he really is funny. He brings a smile to all of our faces at practice. So yeah, yeah. Do you have any game day superstitions? <laughs> is that it? Is a song. <laughs> Freak nasty. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Played in awesome. the car um, when we drove up to the school. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, game day superstition tradition. Um. Well, let's see. I mean, I just wear headphones during warm up. So I actually listen. I don't really re- listen to rap on game day. I listen to country music. Okay. So Zach, you know Zach Bryan. Oh yeah. I just listen to Zach Bryan. I don't know if that's weird. Some people think it is weird. No. I mean, it depends on what. Like, are you are you just shuffling him, or you got like a few go to that you're. That I, got you're hitting... go-tos. I got a what couple go tos. What are the go tos? All right. So nine ball. Love nine uh, ball. Twenty eight. Pain, sweet pain. Mm. Um, heading south. Let's see. Okay, that one's a jam. Heading south is a jam. Um. I mean, something in the orange. Of course. And then the Boons. You know Boons. Yeah. Boons, but it was in that recent album. Yeah. But. I'm, a, I'm a huge Zach Bryan fan. Open the Gate. That's, That's going. So, funny story. <laughs> I love Open the Gate. And what's funny is, you know, some of his songs, I have a four-year-old, so he can't listen to a lot of it. Oh, yeah. But Open the Gate is his favorite song. Really? Yeah, he loves no just way. he he loves he loves that chorus part, the open the yeah. gate, where he kind of holds the gate, you know. Yes. And uh, this is going to be TMI for this, but I'm going to share it anyway. <laughs> I got earlier this year, I got a tattoo where I've got lyrics from three different songs uh, or song titles slash lyrics. Yeah. And each lyric or song title has the number of letters in my birthday, my son's birthday. And my wife's birthday. So, like, I was born the 11th. I've got one that has 11, 14th, 15th. Yeah. And Open the Gate has 11. And so I've got, so I've got, so I've got Open the Gate right in the middle. (laughs) So, so that one's for, that one's for my son. So, love Open the Gate. Love Zach Bryan. Yeah. It's so good. It's literally all I listen to, like, outside of the, outside of here. Like, I mean, we'll listen to rap, but I love Zach Bryan. Um, and then, a lot of Chris Stapleton. Okay. A lot of Chris Stapleton. So, okay. like Parachute, Traveler. I lo- yeah, that original and album. Then I yeah. listen to Steel Drivers. So, Steel Drivers. Oh, okay. So, like Heaven Sent. Yeah. A lot of those old songs. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's he's phenomenal. So I'm learning that quarterbacks are really into the music. You know, I recorded one of these with Brock Bradley over at Spain Park uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And he just started talking about music. Like, yes. he was talking about, I mean, he's into like, it, it it made me feel a certain type of way because he was like talking about all this old music and it was the stuff that I grew up on. Yeah, and I was like, all right, let's chill, calling it old music, you know. <laughs> but I mean, he's he's gotten big into Creed, Three Doors Down. Yeah, uh, I forget who else, but a lot of groups kind of like Third Eye Blind. Yes, and and groups like that. And he kind of has that same routine on game day where he ends up hitting alternative rock most of yeah. most of Friday, starting to like two o'clock all the way up till game day exactly that's what i mean and that's how i am with like country i just listen i'll shuffle through playlists of like 200 songs and it has old stuff i'm talking about jason aldean okay george Strait. it's got all that stuff and um i mean i I love that stuff so yeah do you have an all-time favorite zach bryan song all-time favorite so if i had to say one it would have to be nine ball like okay that is a song i I just love that song i don't know what it is but um I mean, I listened to it all last year when it came out. Yeah. And no- I think it was November, right? Or was it? Yeah, it was sometime. October, maybe. It was sometime maybe was in October. the fall. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I remember that album came out, and I I listened to all that stuff. And um, and then Pain, Sweet Pain was another one of my favorites. That's a good one. That one. So. Yeah. He's, man, he's got he's got quite a catalog. Yeah. Uh, best football movie. Best football movie. Blindside. Okay. I would say Blindside. I mean, and that's, I mean, there's a ton. Uh, yeah. Blindside is the one I just watch the most. Yeah. Um, my family loves that one. So, yeah. I would I'm, say. I'm going to remember the Titans guy. You remember the Titans? Yeah. Yeah. Even though, even though there are holes that people have pointed out in it. Like, I think, I think Jake back in like, what was that? What was that year? 1974, I think, is when that's set. And like in the movie, they show one of the defenders like picking up a fumble. 
taken off with it. And I think I've read that like Virginia high school football rules back in the seventies, you couldn't advance a fumble. Yeah. There's a, there's a bunch of those there's, in that movie where it's like, this couldn't have been, yeah. you know, they probably tried to make it as realistic and related yeah. to the current time. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, one thing about you, most people don't know. Let's see. I, I'm very happy like all the time. I, I okay. don't know. I mean, <laughs> well, oh, shoot. Uh, all right, I'll give another one. I'll give another one. Um, <laughs> I'll give another one. So I was, you know, Rocket League on a, I mean, you may not know this, a video game, Rocket League. It's just car soccer. Okay. But I was top 100 in the world at one point. Whoa. I just want to put <laughs> top 100 in the world. I was, I was crazy. I was wow. pretty good at it. Okay. Rocket, what Rocket is, League. I don't know this game. It's just, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. It's is fun. it okay? It's, what do you play it on? Is it on like a? It's on console, so you can okay. play Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. Okay, any of them. Uh, wow! And it's, I mean, top one hundred in the top world. Top one hundred. It's just car soccer. I mean, you're literally cars. Yeah. And there's a soccer ball, and you just fly around and hit in the net. But there's how, a lot of. <laughs> how how long of, did it take you to get top one hundred? I played that game way too long. <laughs> I think it like two years, three years, maybe. Wow. Okay. Are you still in the top 100? Oh, no. No? no I, you I got surpassed? I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, wrap on this one. Um, we, we've got a guy sitting over there that I, I know what his answer is going to be, but this college football season, you know, we, we're, we're to the 12-team playoff now, but who's, who's winning the national championship this year? Hmm. I think Alabama's gonna win. I think Alabama's gonna win. I see Sydney grinning over there. He is grinning. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. I think Bama may go all the way, especially. Um, I mean, just how they've been performing. Yeah, I, I do think if they can keep it up, if Jalen Miller can keep playing the way he's playing, and their defense can play yeah. uh, the way they they've been playing, I mean, it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be hard to stop. So, have you ever seen a guy like Ryan Williams that? Could reclassify like that, and I don't know if you heard Saturday, but he is 17 years old. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard that. I don't know. If, I don't know. If I've heard that. Yeah, yeah he's just, he's he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. Yeah. I can't believe. Um, I mean, <laughs> I can't believe that he's just able to. I mean, you wouldn't think of a 17 year old starting against Georgia. Yeah. I mean, ever. I mean, when was yeah. the last time that's ever happened? Has it ever happened? Has it even ever happened? Has there ever been someone 17 that's, I don't know, re- reclassified? When do you turn 18? 18. Those are 17. He's, he's supposed to be a junior. Oh. So he plays next year. He'll be. He'll be yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's like, true. Yeah, this is rare, but Peter Woods could have reclassed. And then yeah. Just I mean, yeah, me and you so, talked about yeah. that. Yeah. But yes, it is special. But you were sitting. You guys are sitting in a doll room right now. So. Oh, wait, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah, I got to be careful. It's a little but fresh. That's all yeah, right. a little fresh. That's on me. <laughs> yeah. Well, Charlie brought up Alabama. He could have said another he team. I could have said another team. He could have said Ohio. No. <laughs> could have went Ohio State. Could have went. I, I'm, not, I'm, not a, with it. I'm not a believer in Ohio State, and I can't, and I can't put my finger on it. I don't know why. Yeah, I just don't be careful. Yeah. There you go. There you go. I don't know. That's just me, though. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that's it. All right. I appreciate you, Charlie. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Good to get to know you a little bit. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. That was fun. I enjoyed right. it. Yeah. So we're talking about little Zach Bryan. Bye.